Hoopers, it's Deanne Love here and today we have the most amazing hoop dance tutorial for you and the incredible Lisa Lodi is here joining us and she's going to teach you today, not me, because we had two requests on the Hoop Lovers Facebook page for waist to knee um, splitting or transitions. So Ingrid wrote, I don't know if you'll get many requests for this one, but knee and waist multiple hooping. And Marianne wrote, I'd love a tutorial on how to split two hoops from the waist to the knee. So I'm not so cool at that, but I know that Lisa is incredible. So I'm gonna let Lisa take over. Enjoy the tutorial. Hello everybody. Um, I'm gonna try and show you um, how to hoop on your waist as well as your knees. Now, the first thing that you need to do is well, you need two hula hoops. Um, they need to be the same size and the same weight and I like them to be the same colour, but you know, that's up to you. Um, first of all, uh, you need to be able to hula hoop on your knees. This is very important, otherwise, well, it's never gonna happen, really. <laughs> so, um, I know that most of you, you can probably hula hoop on your knees. I want you to just have a, have a go with me. Put your feet next to each other. Put your knees close to each other. Press your thighs into each other, and just have a go with both of your knees. None of, none of this stuff, you know, no, not, not of one knee both of your knees, both together at the same time. Comfortable? If you're comfortable, have a little spin. Have a little spin around in it. And then just drop it to the floor. Okay, so let's try it with two. Start your little hoops on your waist, both together at the same time. I need your same body position, two feet next to each other, thighs pressed into each other, and just start the hula hoops on your waist. Now we're going to drop one down, which is done by slowly, really, really slowly, slowing one down. One is going to come down, the other one is going to stay on your waist, and you're going to pick it back up, just like this. Now this is a lot of work for my core, so I'm going to get quite exhausted when I'm talking to you like this. You can see how they're almost going at the same speed. You can go, you can go a lot faster on your bottom leg it will look a little bit more like this. It's more difficult. Just relax. One on the knees, one on the waist. If you're happy there, bring them back up. Bring them back together. And that's it. If you're thinking, I can't do that, um, well, the only way to start learning do, to do it is just the practice, you know, you have to put a lot of time and effort into moves like this, you know, they don't just come from, oh, 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 it's like this, you know, no, you need time, dedication, practice this every day, spend a good, a good 10 minutes on it, the first time you'll do it, you'll probably look ridiculous, I remember the first time I um, hula hooped on my waist and my knees and I was showing my friend, and I said, oh, is it like this, is it like this, and she was like, that looks terrible. But I, I kept doing it and uh, eventually it does straighten out, you know. Maybe the first one, the one on your knees is going to be on this plane and the one on your waist is sort of creeping up to your chest and it's all really, really awkward. But just try it again and again. I'm going to do it one more time. Two feet together. Really engage your core. Thighs pressed into each other. And start hula hooping around your waist. Slow down and slowly start feeling, they start to peel apart and you're going to pick this one up. One stays around your knees, one stays around your waist. Are you happy? Are you comfortable? Start taking one down. Take them together to your knees. We're going to try it again, but I'm going to turn my side onto you so you can see my body movements. Now, hop. This is going to start again from the beginning. Thighs pressed into each other. Core really, really engaged. Around your waist. Slow down one, and one is going to drop to my knees. Keep practicing. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen. 
it's not even going to happen in a couple of weeks, really. If, if you are new to this method of hooping, every day. Do this 10 minutes every day, maybe one month, two months, something like that. Sometimes even six months. People, I've, I've seen people do this who didn't think they were ever going to do it, but they, were, they, kept, they kept putting in the time, and then it happens. So that's the only way how you're going to learn this. Good luck. Keep practicing. Oh, and practice in front of a mirror. This can be really useful. Or practice in front of a camera so you can see what kinds of mistakes you're making. So, good luck. You can do it. Lisa, thank you so much for coming to share those tricky tricks with us. And you totally inspired me. I'm sure that you inspired all those hoopers. And I promise I'm going to practice. Excellent. You 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 will be great. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, you can always check me out on uh, my website www.lisalotti.com, and I've got lots of exciting um, tours and, and gigs planned for um, 2013. And you can always see where I am on my Facebook page, which is Lisa Lotti. Easy. So thank you so much. Thank you. And have a great day. Thank you Hoopers, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure that you share it with your Hooper friends so that they can strengthen their Super Hooper powers. And if you have any requests about anything to do with hooping, please leave me a comment on the Hoop Lovers Facebook page.